Hello, and welcome to my speakeasy build. We're down here at the entrance by the freight elevator, and as you can see, I kind of put things out here outside of the bounds of the Mechanist Layer build area, just to kind of welcome people in as they come in. Um, because once you first step in the door, I wanted there to be a guard station. So we have, ideally, um, a guard would be sitting here and checking weapons and things like that and taking entrance fees over here on the left. Um, I couldn't get any of the settlers to actually go to their stations in this build. Something bugged out on me, so I don't have anyone to check coats or check weapons or anything. So this is an empty build, unfortunately, but ideally there would be people there. There would also be someone over here at this bar area to serve you some drinks. And I had a lot of fun with those neon lights throughout the entire build, as you'll see, because I've been playing Fallout New Vegas recently and I wanted to have sort of a casino vibe. And of course we got Drinking Buddy over here serving some drinks to the people out at the tables. But over on the right side of the settlement, we've got some different gambling options. So you've got your poker table here um, and you've got some slot machines that you can sit at. And then over here, we've also got some pool and blackjack, um, and then also caravan, which was one of my personal favorites. So I just tried to set up some of the cards like that. One of the things I absolutely do not like about this settlement is all of the textures um, that are on the floor. They make everything look so dirty and gross, but Hopefully you can see some of the cards on the tables despite that. Uh, it looks like we've got sort of an impromptu game over here going on. Uh, and then you have your main focal point of the speakeasy, which is the stage. Um, I had a lot of fun making that curtain out of the neon lights. Because every stage needs a big red curtain. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a stage without it. So over here, we've got some more lounge area and uh, the restrooms, but I'm gonna show you this closet instead because the restrooms are pretty straightforward. So you would talk to that guard and he would let you into this closet, which has chems. So you can rent rooms, you can buy drinks, you can also do chems down here. Um, and I did go out of bounds again over here to make a little drug den, but I'm not gonna go in there because technically I'm not supposed to. Um, anyway, so once you get out of there, there's also this area up here that's sort of a little alcove that I made because I wanted to be able to put this grating over top of the closet. But this would be ideally where some guards sit and keep watch over this side of the club uh, just to make sure that none of the patrons are getting too rowdy. Let's see, you can see down in there. So your business is not entirely secret here. <laughs> So, as a patron, uh, if you have already bought your drink, you've already done your cams, you've already gambled away your life savings, what else can you do? You can go and you can rent yourself a room. So, let's go upstairs onto the other side of the settlement, and we will see what the rooms look like. So, when you get to the top here, there's someone here to take your money, you know, as always, um, and point you to whichever room is open. Each of these rooms has, um, you've got some linens and things over there, but each of them is pretty bare bones. It's got a place to put your things, it's got a radio, it's got a bed and a comfy pillow. And that's pretty much it. Some fancy artwork and stuff. But that's pretty much all you need in the wasteland, you know, as long as you're not getting shot up by raiders and stuff, life's pretty good. This is also the high roller suite, so if you are willing to pay the caps, you can stay in here. There's a nice big double bed, a nice couch, a safe in there under the bed. Pretty much it. This isn't exactly like staying at the tops or anything. It's 
pretty straightforward. You just have a safe place to stay and, you know, not get killed by raiders, I guess. <laughs> so, those are the rooms. And that's pretty much all you can do as a patron. I mean, I say that's all you can do, but that's a lot of stuff you can do. Um, but if you are an employee, there's a couple other places that you can go in this area. So, when you come down the stairs here, there is this kind of watch room area. I'm not really sure what you would call it, but it's a place where all the money gets taken and put in the safe and counted. And um, those TVs there are to make sure that everything's going according to plan out on the floor. Got some desks back here for bookkeeping purposes, that kind of thing, some ammo. And some turrets to make sure that whoever's up here is supposed to be up here not just creeping in here and doing what they want. We got Sparky here stuck on a board. I'm not sure what he's doing. Um, but anyway, this leads down into the backstage area. So over here on the left, you've got a couple seats, some tables, you know, that kind of thing, sort of a green room area with some cool poster things that I thought would look nice back here. And all this smoke that makes it look sort of eerie and weird. And then this area is a dressing room with uh, a cat picture as your mirror because I don't have a mirror to put there. <laughs> but that's pretty much it back here. Um, I thought that would be kind of a nice little addition, something back here to get ready. Um, then you've got your service elevator. So there's nothing on the second floor, it's just support beams and the like. So we're gonna go up to the crow's nest on level three. You've got a couch and that cool fire barrel that casts all those awesome shadows. So. Part of the reason that I wanted to make a speakeasy is because I was doing some research on them and I was thinking about a speakeasy in the Commonwealth and, um, you know, everything in the Commonwealth is pretty legal. There's not really any one that's going to tell you, you can't serve alcohol, you can't, you know, do chems, you can't do that kind of thing. So what I wanted to do was have sort of a secret underneath all of that and that comes into play after we get to this room. So this is a security area. You got your jail cell for those unruly patrons and a back door so you can take them out. You don't have to go through the club. And security area with a terminal and some ammo, some lockers for employee things, and then of course some turrets. Then up these stairs is kind of a mini railroad headquarters. So the idea behind this is that people Railroad agents can bring synths down in here under the guise of this being just sort of a, a club thing, but they are also running synths out to different settlements and getting them settled um, and kind of providing them with different things under the noses of the Institute and the Brotherhood, since neither of those factions really enjoy synths <laughs> at all. Um, so you've got an area up here for them to do their business which is kind of cool. So that door is hooked up to a switch on the wall. Um, this desk over here has kind of got some information on synths. You've got a little lounge area. Um, you've got some stim packs and right away and some extra clothes and guns in there um, to give them, instead of just sending them out in the wasteland, completely unprepared. Uh, and then that terminal and that desk over there is where people will check in and there's a record being kept of all of the synths that come in through the speakeasy. So that is pretty much the entire tour. I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching.